It has been a rough start for the fire after a couple of scoreless draws, but they do have two points largely because of Addison native Gabrielle Slonina, who now has six shutouts and 13 career starts. He's in his second season playing goalie for his hometown pro team. I caught up with a 17 year old nicknamed Gaga to see how his first job is going and to find out more about that nickname. This is the first memory I have of it, and I just hear the crowd chanting Super Gaga. Super Gaga. Yeah. So it wasn't even Gaga at first, it was yeah. Super Gaga. Yeah, and I would literally print it like on my shirts and everything <laughs> in the back, so yeah. How old were you then? I mean, I was probably about six, seven years old then. So one of your earliest soccer yeah, memories. for sure. You just stuck. Yeah, just stuck. In steps Gaga Slonita, the youngest homegrown signing in the history of Chicago Fire. I think the earliest memories is in my hometown park, just, just playing with like the park district and I don't know, being five, six years old and, and being that, that big kid in goal and just and making saves, it was, it's, it's, it's memories I'll never forget. Did you know you wanted to be a goalie from the first day you ran out and they, they rolled the soccer ball out there? Or was that where they put you? How did it become, okay, you're gonna be a goalie? I mean, I was always a bigger kid when I was, when I was smaller, but I mean, I just love the goalkeeper position, being in the goal and, and just being like, feeling like a monster in the goal. You know, the goals are always so small. So I was always a much, I was covering the goal so well. So I think, yeah, just, just ever since I was little, I fell in love with it. Now you've gotten bigger, but the gold has gotten much, much bigger yeah. since then. <laughs> what, what's been the, the the biggest challenge as the years have gone on? I think you, you you adjust to the the goal size and everything. So I think the biggest challenge is just the speed of play. You know, it's it's a big step up from academy to professional. So I think just seeing as much as possible, and now having players like Shaq and Trebilko who have seen seen and played at, at top levels, and and like Rafael as well, you can adjust to that speed and and sort of. Uh, get used to that type of, of rhythm. It's truly a family affair for you. Uh, you got to play with your brother uh, and catch rides with him to practice for a couple of years. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing playing with my brother and uh, yeah, it was it was it was super fun. You know, we would it was truly an honor because like we both wanted to be professionals growing up. So yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. When did you know that you weren't like the other kids in terms of just age and maturity? Because like I hear you talk and you sound like you've been an adult for a while. You're, you're not an adult. You can't vote yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was a big step when I signed professionally. You know, it's, it's, you have to take it seriously. You know, I didn't want to just be a professional. I wanted to act like one. I wanted to, I wanted to play on the field. I want to do the things that, that I'm doing now. So I think just always acting like a professional and making sure that I'm doing the things that a professional would do to constantly be at its top level is so important. I journal a lot, so I'll come back after a game and just journal how I felt during the game because I want to be able to look back at it at the end of my career and just, just enjoy every single moment that I can. Slonina also now a member of the U.S. men's national team. He got the call up for World Cup qualifiers and could even see some action in the next round later this month because of injuries to other goalies. Mm. That's great. It's a Gaga-themed newscast. Now we know.